YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Dirty Chan. Today I'm gonna do a fragrance review of Luna Rosa Eau de Toilette. You know me, I love fragrances, I love doing fragrance reviews and comparison, guys. And today we're gonna dive into this bad boy. Now, this fragrance to me is a signature scent worthy all day, every day, daytime scent. Fantastic for the office, casual, formal. This one just does it. It has a very, very distinct lavender note, and that's a classic, classic note in a lot of men's fragrances. Gives off a very fresh and clean vibe. And also, ladies like it. So this one's an aromatic green, fresh, spicy, citrus kind of scent. It has the lavender, has the mint, which also adds to the freshness. Adds a bit of uh, smoothness to the fragrance as well. And it has orange in it, clary sage, and broxen, and... A bit of musk in the dry down. So this one's fantastic. Opens up very bright. I'm going to spray it on real quick. Yeah, so right when you spray it, it's going to it's gonna be kind of al al uh, alcoholic in the opening. But that's just the fragrance doing its thing. As it dries down, you get a fantastic, fantastic, smooth lavender note mixed with the mint. And the sage, it smells green, it smells citrusy, it smells fresh. Fantastic for everyday wear, man. This one's smacks a smile on your face. And it has pretty decent longevity for a freshie. You're going to get two hours of solid production, six hours of longevity. And this will not break the bank, guys. This one will cost you about 50 to $60 in the gray market site. For 100 ml, man. Whew, this one is fresh, man. And it's smoothed out. It's balanced out with the ambroxan and the musk. And it just makes it more versatile for year round wear in the daytime. This one will smack a smile on your face. Very balanced. Has a citrus balanced out with the lavender, balanced out with the mint. It's not a like fragrance that's too sharp. It's very smooth soapy clean that's what prada is known for all the fragrances have this smoothness to it have this cleanness to it have this very very smoothness to it and that's why i love prada man prada to me is the fantastic office everyday kind of scent something you spray on you're gonna smell good inoffensive clean clean put together guy man Wow, this smells great. And as it dries down, it gets smoother, it gets a bit sweeter, but not overly seat to the point where you can't really wear it in the spring or the summer. No, no, no. This one, fantastic for the spring and the summer and even the fall. In the winter, yes, you could wear this indoors. Outdoors, it might have a bit of an issue pushing out, but you can still wear this year round. It will smell good. Just note that in the hotter weather, it's going to push out more. While in the colder weathers, it's not going to push out as much. Yeah, this one's great. You get the lavender. The sillage of this is amazing. The sillage, you get a bit more lavender. And it's it's just good. It just smells good. Will it turn heads? Possibly. Uh, the lavender note here is very prominent. And if people like lavender and they smell this on you, you finna get that compliment, homeboy. You finna get it. But um, in terms of age ranges, this one can go from college students and up. Very, very inoffensive. Not too super mature and masculine. Doesn't smell like an old guy. Doesn't smell dated. This one just smells good. It's lavender. And again, lavender. Very, very natural smelling. Doesn't smell synthetic. Doesn't smell forced. Very smooth. Again, this one's clean, soapy. If you want a clean scent, but you don't want something too iris heavy like Prada Lome, check out the Luna Rosa Eau de Toilette. It goes in the fresher direction with the lavender instead of the iris. Ooh, and the mint. That mint just adds to the freshness and, and spices it up just a tad bit. Now, again, this one, daytime, perfect, perfect year round. Fantastic price range in terms of compliments. You're not going to get a like a bad compliment. People aren't going to say, who the heck is wearing that? It smells really bad. No, you're not going to get that with Luna Rosa. It's just pleasant to the nose. 
lavender, orange, mint, very pleasant. Sage, clary sage, very pleasant. Nothing's too overwhelming. Nothing's too overpowering. This one doesn't give you a headache. It's not nauseating. In the air, fantastic, guys. You see me waving my hand around? That's just me waving the scent so I can get whiffs of it in the air. And it's so, so good. So smooth, so fresh, so clean, so lavendery. I could wear this in the office year-round, but, you know, I like to have a rotation. Uh, so, again, if you're trying to get a clean, fresh scent, a no-brainer kind of scent just to put on every day kind of thing, daytime, smell good, probably last you the whole work day. Doesn't spread, doesn't push out too much to the point where everybody can smell you in the room. This one definitely has a one to two feet scent bubble. Very, very pleasant. And when you walk around, the Siage will carry forward. Fantastic scent. So yeah, price, decent, middle of the pack for a designer. Uh, age range, any age range events. This is an everyday, daytime scent. Compliments. No one's going to say they're not going to they're, they're going to say you smell good, but it's not going to blow anybody away unless they really, really like lavender. Wow, this one's really good. It's clean and fresh, man. Prada, they did it again. Now, why, why would you get this? Well, if you're looking for a, again, something like super fresh in terms of aqua de geos or something, you know, something fresh and clean, but you want the Prada's soapy vibe to it, the Prada clean, fresh round smoothness pick this one up this one oh man fantastic for spring and summer you could get away with it in the fall but overall the life cycle of this fragrance the lavender is always there the mint kind of fades here and there but overall the scent's pretty darn linear it's not going to evolve over time like some of the darker variations uh, but this one, it's it just gets the job done, clean and fresh. If you want to spray something on, run in for errands, I just want to smell good, put this one on. Now, can you wear this to a date? Possibly. If you just want to smell clean and fresh, I don't see why you can't wear this on a date. It's not going to be something super alluring or inviting where she wants to snuggle up with you. But for a first date, this would this would do it if you if you're going somewhere where you know it's not too fancy this this would do it yeah again I would recommend you wear this in the daytime first and foremost but uh, you could get away with with wearing this in the nighttime because lavender in its scent in, in, as a scent is very very inoffensive very very versatile and this one yeah I would say it is versatile but again it, it leans more towards the daytime in the end it doesn't have that powderiness that most Prada fragrances have, so that's pretty. That's pretty good. This one's more fresh and smooth in that sense. And again, this one's perfect for everyday kind of scent. It won't be one of those super crazy attention grabbers like Dior Sauvage or Ultra Male. This one's more laid back, more relaxed. Again, everyday kind of scent where it's perfect for pretty much any situation. And I have to say, this one is. In the shadows of Prada Lome, so if you don't really like Prada Lome but you still like Prada, the brand, check out Luna Rosa Eau de Toilette. This one is one of my favorite everydays. Lifts you up, wakes you up. Fantastic, fantastic, and amazing sillage. And that's pretty much it, guys. Peace.